As Shakespeare said, the world is a stage and men and women merely play as actors on this stage. I wonder whether you have ever had the feeling that in reality that you are an actor playing a part in this unlimited drama of life. That in fact we are spiritual beings or souls and we do adopt a body, a costume. We act out our part in life, but at some point we will leave this costume and then we will take another. In the same way, our soul is like a human seed which will always take a human body. That means the human soul always takes a human birth. No soul ever dies, but takes the next life according to the karma of its previous life and to play out its destined role. What is it that actually reincarnates the most common name for the energy or the consciousness that goes from body to body is soul, though some may call it spirit. And in the East they use the word atma, which means I, the living being, the dweller in the costume. The soul is immortal, eternal and non-physical. The soul is on an extraordinary journey. When I leave my body, I enter the fetus in the womb, and when I am reborn once again, I look out and I say, this is my mother, this is my father, this is my sister, this is my brother. This is my home, this is my city, this is my country. I build up an extraordinary network in my life And then once again, I die, I leave my body, I enter the fetus in the womb, and I'm reborn again, and the whole process begins. This is my father, this is my mother, this is my sister, this is my brother. We don't carry forward with us relationships, roles, or even possessions, but what we do carry forward is experiences, behaviors, and the effects of my actions which is like my blueprint or my karmic story. The Bhagavad Gita, which is part of the Mahabharata, an epic Indian poem that details the origins and destiny of the human race, clearly describes reincarnation as a natural part of life. Just as the self advances through childhood, youth and old age in its physical body, so it advances to another body after death. The wise person is not confused by this change called death. Just as the body casts off worn-out clothes and puts on new ones, so the infinite immortal self casts off the worn-out body and enters a new one. Inherent in the concept of rebirth is the law of karma. This is a universal law which tells me that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. For every effect there is an original cause. If I take a ball and throw it against the wall, it will come back to me with equal force. When I throw my thoughts, my words and my actions into life, they will come back to me. This is the law of karma.